So what is the maximum life a human being can live? See, in normal human being, I don't know what the medical science says, please tell me, I'm not conscious about that. Normally we see that by our own experience, a human being breathes between twelve to fifteen times per minute. Is that the understanding? If you're breathing fifteen times per minute, you're breathing twenty-one thousand six hundred times per minute. Twenty-one thousand six hundred is not just an accidental number that you have arrived at. Twenty-one thousand six hundred is the number of nautical miles across the equator. And for every longitude that you have, between one longitude and the next longitude, the space is sixty nautical miles. This is considered as a minute. Anybody who is an aviator or a navigator knows this. We call the space as a minute because that's one minute. And our breath and the cycles of the planet are very closely connected. If we drop our breathing to twelve on an average, suppose by doing the right kind of practices, you bring your breath to twelve, we say you will live up to hundred and eight years of age. If you drop your breath to nine, we say you will live up to hundred and twenty-four years of age. If you drop your breath to six, we say you will live up to one hundred and sixty-four years. If somebody comes to a state where they come to a static breath, no breath for long periods of time, that means it's almost like you're hibernating and re being reborn. Such a person we call him a nirmanakaya, that means he recreates his own body. He goes into hibernation states and recreates his body. For him, we don't fix a time span, it is his choice how long he lives. Till he has a certain purpose, he may live and he will die when he's well. He will not die because of ailments, he will not die because of something, he will die when he is well. So, this is not like an absolute thing, this is a general trajectory of life. 